What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about All Kings Fall. See, what we fail to realize and fail to understand is the earthly kings in this world that we may look up to due to their fame, status, notoriety, resources, social status, social class, they will fall. We have to understand that we should be only looking up to the Most High, focusing on the Most High and understanding that the Most High controls every dynamic in this life. When we start to look up to false idols, quote unquote, false prophets and people who've done various different things for their fame, fortune, status, notoriety, we lose sight of what God wants us to do in our own personal lives and we try to follow behind these people. We have to understand we must not follow behind these people because we do not understand or know what they did behind the scenes in order to get to the position that they're in. Many times our fantasies play into many situations, thinking this person might have did the right thing to get where they want to be. This person might have just done it right. But in reality, we do not know the people that we look up to. Sometimes you may look up to somebody and you don't know their life behind the scenes. You don't know them behind the scenes. And when you actually understand them and you really know them, you see that their life behind the scenes is totally different. We have to put our fullest faith into the Most High and understanding that the Most High controls everything. Focusing on the Most High and understanding the Most High and understanding what position we play in this life is important. As a man myself, I understand that many various different times in this life, there's going to be people who are better than me there's going to be people who may not be better than me. I understand that you have to walk in a path and in a direction that pleases the Most High, walking righteously. Many men in this life choose to walk a different path because they look at it from a worldly perspective. They may get the fame, fortune, notoriety, status that they desire and become earthly kings. When they become earthly kings, they may act as if they control everything, they run everything, and everything is in their favor. What we have to understand as men is when we're placed in higher positions, we have to do the right thing. We have to move righteously because as soon as we gain that thing, we can lose that thing if we do not be responsible. Many times we fail to realize that responsibility is in our hands. People may be looking at us for help, whether it be friends, family members, associates, people who may be under you in your position. And sometimes we do not understand the position that we're in or we understand the position that we're in and we get consumed by power. So we start power tripping. We start doing things that God does not want us to do. We start walking in a direction that God does not want us to walk. Many earthly kings in the past failed due to the fact of the matter of getting consumed by power. Because when you're consumed by power, you start to do things that God does not want you to do. And you start to make yourself feel like you're a God in your own eyes and other people's eyes. With power comes great responsibility. Many times the past kings would use their power in the wrong ways. They would use their power to manipulate people. They'll use their power to get their way with females. They'll use their power to try to make more resources. 
they'll use their power to try to destroy other people. They may be feeling jealous, insecure, envious. So they may try to hurt other men with their power because they may lack characteristics that that other man may have. They may use their power to overthrow other countries and gain resources from other countries. What we have to understand is God is the only ruler. We try to feel like we are rulers of our own life, but God controls everything. And I say this time and time again, because those kings of the past that thought that they had it all together, that thought they had everything, they ended up falling. Why? Because God was not pleased with them. God was not pleased with what they're doing. God does not like when you do things that he does not approve of. He doesn't like when you hurt people that are his people. And many times these kings would hurt other people in order to get what they want. This is why the world is like this today. Because of corruption, because of greediness, because of power. And we feel that we need to hoard everything in order for us to be the best. These resources on this land, it's not our resources, it's God's resources. Everything that we see is God's resources. This is God's world. It is not our world to try to make everything ours. Many times we try to make everything ours because we're power tripping and we feel the need to want to own everything. These things that we're owning is not ours, it's God's. And when we fail to realize it, we will lose every time. See, all the things that we're dealing with in this world right now, it's because of greed, it's because of corruption, it's because of feeling the need to be a quote unquote God. There's only one true and living God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And if we fail to understand that, God will show who he is in real time. We have the ability to right our wrongs and focus because everything that we do in this life is important. Whether you're a person who may have fame, fortune, notoriety, and status, or a person who may not have any of those things. It's important that we understand that all of our roles are important because when you die, you have none of those things. You will die with nothing. Kings who have all these things, they died with nothing. Homeless people who had none of these things, none of these resources, they died with nothing. All we have is the most high. None of these things matter in the large scheme of things. When you understand that none of these things matter in the large scheme of things, you start to put your life into perspective and you start to do the things that the most high wants you to do in this life. Sure, you can have trinkets and treasures, but the act of putting these things before the most high and trying to make yourself an idol to feel like you are a high status individual will not help. Being real with yourself will help. Being honest with yourself will help. And as a man, I advise other men to do the right things use your time wisely. And if you have the ability to actually become somebody that is quote unquote, a notable figure in society, use it responsibly because you will be held accountable. When everyone is looking up to you when everybody is looking for your help, the responsibility is in your hands. 
when the Most High places you in a position and he understands the position that you're in and he places you there, use it wisely. Because many men have not used it wisely and many men have been destroyed. And the reason why I say this towards men is because men are the leaders and everybody looks up to men to get it done, to get the job done, to lead. So when you're in a leadership position, do the right things. Understand that God puts you in that position for a reason and nothing can break that position if you're doing the right things, if you're walking the right way, and if you know your purpose and you understand why you're placed here as a man. I want to read these scriptures today, and I hope that these scriptures can help you in your own personal life. Luke 8, 17, for nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. Luke 12, 3, Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. So today, I want to leave you guys with this. Understand that in this life, we do not control the dynamics of everything. God controls the dynamics of everything. And if we speak to God first in every decision that we decide to make, if we walk with the Most High, if we understand that we can seek the Most High and we put our faith in the Most High, there's nothing that stems from a place of evil that can stop us from prevailing on this journey today. I want to thank you for watching today. Peace.